guard from the second row one, so they're now basically back in the game. So restart is good because you can uh, recover your robot from a failure, but you're only allowed to do that once per game and per robot. So as soon as you have to do it a second time with a robot, it's out of the game. So robot number one here is now uh, trying to deliver a pack. So it has now determined the open delivery game and now successfully delivered the pack. but it'll dispose of the puck somewhere else and then take it. So as you can see, there's quite some movement out of here that you have for one to coordinate for your own robots so that your own robots are not in your way and that they are doing uh, not the same thing twice, but coordinate who is doing what and when. And then in that case, for example, over there you saw that there was almost a collision, but the robot avoided that collision by detecting uh, the other robot. And that is done by a laser ray scanner, a laser scanner, which is uh, in the middle of black and gray box behind the camera that you see in the robot. So there they get distance measures and angles, and from these distance measures you can uh, tell whether there's another robot or not that you have to avoid. And I will now hand over to uh, the very many units. So, welcome from our team, the very bending units. We have currently three robots running. One just delivered a final product, P3, and he's now trying to get the next job. You can really see six robots running in this machine space and they quite nicely try to avoid the charging. So currently we have 11 minutes to go, 11 more minutes to go and there's no open order code. So robots shut down the products so our robot number two has a video run under the machine but does not deliver because there is no more orders so he waits for the machine. The current score is 60 points for Cargo Logistics and 51 for the very many units and there are 11 more minutes. So we, they, they touched each other, but it took the time actually for us. <laughs> so still no open order. Um, we have three different types of final products. We have a P1, a P2 and a P3. And um, P1 and P2 require rather a lot of intermediate products. And um, a P3 can be produced by just using a single machine. And um, the web box announces um, when the order should be delivered, so the robots should then produce this respective product and deliver it to the delivery zone. The delivery zone is on the side, each team has its own delivery zone, and you have to deliver final products to the machine, which shows the light. So again, touching it each other, localization works. We have a routine in our program which allows driving right next to each other for our own robots, but it seems like it's not properly <laughs> <laughs> Okay, 
professor de Rotterdam How logistics recycles a form? You can recycle consumed goods in order to get new raw materials. So this robot now has a raw material in this product. Wow, it's nice, but you see the point. Yeah, it's the point. Yeah, it's not the other one. Yeah, you know. Nice. <laughs> so, uh, you see that the solution of volume is most of the time is still working. But our robot stops due to collision, should just be touching, regains the book. So, this was very nice behavior. So the score is 82 for Carol Logistics and 55 for the Eight more minutes. It's somehow still no open orders. Maybe can you check if the red was? Okay, now then open order for P1. In one and a half minutes. So P1 requires a lot of intermediate products. Let's see how. Okay, uh, it's a third reaction. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. oh, that's a different time. Different pushing. Yeah, you have a good day over here. So the referees now have to decide whether it was a pushing foul or not, or if both teams. Can recover from the situation. Seems like both teams could successfully recover. <laughs> Nine. If the referees call a pushing foul, the opposing team can restart its forward. But looks like still all walls are nicely running. And you can see right in front of our insertion zone, a final product was produced, and it could be delivered. Yeah, there are. Six more minutes. And there's currently a P3 order active. More seconds for P3 and 30 more seconds for P1. How logistics now delivers the product?
So now there's a key super border. Now we'll this again. Inside the hooks and forward the screw from our side right to the middle. Wow, that was, that was nice. So the delivery of a key suit at our tracing age. So three more minutes, score is 132 for Carmen Physics and 96 for the A hundred and five. So you see in our insertion area there are only three more heads available and more The Louis on time for the robots. So robots then try to recycle books in order to get new raw materials because the books are the, the, the only insertion area are limited. So what number three also delivers. One and a half more minutes to go. This gives you raw material and So the score is 158 points for Carlo Mystics and 122 for Perrain and Bending Users. And the game ends in 5 seconds, so congratulations.